Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I've been at the shop here for the last half hour this morning. I did a little bit of office work and I've been getting things ready for today's project. We've been hired by one of our weekly long care clients. They just bought a brand new Ford King Ranch dually with a uh, camper trailer and they want us to build a gravel parking spot. So this should be a half day's project for us. And we're gonna be using the GMC dumb truck along with the deck over wheels trailer. The last thing we need is to get one of the skid sears loaded up. And I am thinking, why don't we use a cat since I haven't ran this in a little bit here. But let's get this up on the trailer, get it chained down, and we'll head on over first to pick up the gravel. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Our customer just recently picked up this camper here. He wanted to have it ready to go for the spring and the summer months uh, since he said he's going to take the family camping quite a bit, but he needs a parking spot. That's a big truck, big camper, and it's just taking up too much of the driveway here. So we got the cat here. I'm going to put a few tie down straps on it, but uh, we need to head on over to a local supplier to pick up uh, some three quarter inch gravel. During the winter months here, we've taken on a few projects every now and then, but hopefully, guys, we could get an early start to the spring season. We have gotten quite a bit of snow here, but the ground has warmed up a little bit, and I thought, hey, we should try to get this project done here. I think I bid this project like two, two and a half weeks ago, and I've been just waiting for one of the warmer days here. It's about mid-40s out, and we're going to take uh, this opportunity we do have here, but the local supplier should have the gravel. I don't think there's going to be big line today since uh, most of the contractors have not yet started here i think we're gonna wait another few more weeks to uh, several weeks depending on the weather but i really want to get an early start to the season here i just really do enjoy projects and uh, getting to run all of the different machines we own yeah, it looks like we are the only truck here, which is great. So we'll get loaded up, and we have about a 10-15 minute drive from here over uh, to the property. All right, guys, we're all set here. We got uh, three quart inch gravel here. Now I did get a little bit of stone dust mixed in here. I think that's probably the perfect thing we need. And that should help the rocks uh, really have a nice strong base here. Now a gravel pad is the most uh, effective uh, way cost wise uh, to kind of expand your driveway. Otherwise you have to pay uh, to have a asphalt company come uh, pave it, things like that. And that does get pricey here, especially only to park a trailer on. Nothing too fancy. You just don't want it parked in mud. You don't want grass growing underneath it. And, and that's why we do so many gravel pads. It's because we live in an area where people have campers, boats, uh, extra uh, trucks, things like that. And they just want a nice parking spot without uh, really breaking the bank. We're just getting here to the subdivision. I think it's going to be one or two houses coming up on the right hand side. And oh boy guys, I could already see it. Wow, that is a super big camper even just behind the few trees that are in front of it here. But I want to get the skids here warmed up here since it is only 40 degrees. I want to make sure the hydraulic fluid, everything like that is all ready to go here. Then we have to do a quick job walk around and uh, we could get right to work here. But look at that. Wow, that is one big camper here. Looks like it's a Tana Maxwell Gooseneck Summit. That is pretty, pretty cool. And look at this, guys. This looks to be a brand new 2024 uh, F350 Dually here. Now, this is a King Ranch here. Two-tone paint. 
I mean, that is a super cool uh, setup. Imagine driving this as your pickup truck. Wow, that is pretty cool. Walking around back here. Oh, there's so much mud back here. It looks like, yeah, that's why he's not backing up all the way because there's a few tire tracks. He might have gotten stuck once or twice right here, but wow, we definitely have uh, some work ahead of us here. So why don't we hop in this truck and we'll get this moved off to the side. Now, I always ask that the customer leave the truck and trailer exactly where they want it. That way, we can visually see it, we can do measurements, because sometimes they say we need 20 feet, but uh, with a truck and trailer, you really need more space, so probably like 30 feet, even though it's only like 20 feet in length here. But we'll get the skid steer out, and we'll get right to work here. I'm going to be making the gravel come all the way to the edge from where I'm standing, all the way back, and then to the corner of the garage. I'm super excited to be running this uh, cat skid steer here. This is one of my favorites here. We don't really use it too, too much uh, since always one of the guys end up taking it here. But let's see here. Oh, yeah, good thing I brought the bucket with the teeth here. There's a little bit of frost here from the last three, four days, but we are scraping up this no problem. And I think that should do it there. We got it uh, pretty much all dug out. I just made a pile in the backyard since he wanted the soil uh, to do some gardening in the spring here. But wow, you guys can see that is going to be a big difference there uh, for parking. But why don't we get the truck unloaded? I'm, I'm probably just going to make a pile and we'll just spread it here with the skid steer. I'm spreading the gravel about four to five inches in thickness here. We want just enough gravel here, but uh, that way uh, down the road, if they do end up wanting to pave it, it's all ready to go. And we still have quite a bit left here. So it looks like we should be all set with material here at this project. And uh, we just really need to kind of finish on up here. But wow, this is looking good already here. I can't wait to see how it looks like once we get the camper parked in here with the pickup truck. Now, he does have like a sport SUV. So uh, this is where the truck will be parking all the time here. So yeah, good thing uh, we went all the way to the road here. That way, there's plenty of room for the truck and camper. Skid steer work like this, guys, is a ton of fun here. It's one of my favorite things to, uh, to do here in Farm Sim and... It's just so cool we uh, could do things like this here in the game with all the different projects and all the fun things uh, that I get to record and share with you guys here. But we have just a little bit left here, have a little bit of sweeping to do alongside the driveway and then we should be all set. There we have it guys, we just finished the project here. Wow, this thing came out great here. I did track it in quite a bit, so it is nice and compact here. That is even quicker than a play compactor, and uh, that is what we tend to do here. But why don't we hop back in this King Ranch, and let's see what it looks like in its new parking pad. This is such a cool truck here. Definitely wanted to uh, check it out here. Maybe ask him if he could uh, take us for a ride, because this thing even sounds pretty cool. Let's uh, keep on going back. It looks like width-wise we did a good job there. Just have to watch the corner of the garage. And there we have it. Job complete. We'll have a happy customer. That is perfect. That is uh, the right size here for us. But I'm going to get everything loaded back up and back to the shop here. But until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned uh, and subscribe for more.